at the center of a discrimination lawsuit against the Arizona State Senate is responding tonight to a public apology that was issued yesterday by Secretary of State Katie Hobbs, who at the time was in charge of the office. And as Joe Dana explains, the public feud is not going away and could hurt Katie Hobbs' run for governor. After Wednesday's public apology from Secretary Katie Hobbs, many wondered how Talanya Adams would react. Well, Adams is making it clear she's not satisfied. Please allow me to say this clearly and unequivocally. I apologize to Ms. Adams. That was Secretary of State Katie Hobbs Wednesday, expressing regret for her role in firing Talanya Adams from the state Senate staff in 2015. Adams showed in court the firing amounted to retaliation after she requested a raise and after she took emergency leave to tend to a sick child. Today, standing in front of the federal court where she proved her case to two separate juries, Adams cast doubt on whether Hobbs' apology was sincere. Her statement is not an apology. It's designed to allow her to get over a political hurdle. Adams' outspokenness comes as Hobbs is hoping to secure the Democratic ticket for governor. I call for Katie Hobbs, uh, current Secretary of State, to drop out of the race for governor. She is a distraction. Hobbs shows no sign of backing down, vowing in her apology video to take steps to prevent discrimination if she's elected governor. Adams also says she wants to be a voice for others who have experienced race and sex discrimination. Discrimination hurts. It is painful. It doesn't matter whether it's asserted by an individual that is a Republican or a Democrat. It makes a difference when it's asserted by someone that has extraordinary power. Since she won reinstatement of her job back in 2019, Talanya Adams remains the only African-American policy advisor in the Senate chamber. Joe Dana, 12 News.